please remember when working on any pump, you must make sure the unit is completely disconnected from the mains power. Here you can see where the seal sits in the seal plate. It must be pushed all the way down to form a flat, even surface. Check the slinger washer is located on the shaft. Place the seal plate onto the motor with the foot bracket facing the opposite way to the electrical housing. Now insert all bolts going into the motor. They should be tightened to 8 newton meters. Grease round the base of the impeller where the seal sits. Pay attention only to touch the sides of the seal, not the ends. Lock out the motor so the shaft can no longer spin. This can be done from the fan side of the motor by removing the cover or putting a flathead screwdriver through the hole. Place the completed impeller on the threaded shaft. Rotate clockwise until hand tight. When disassembling a pump, re-greasing all the O-rings is good practice. It helps seal the pump and keeps the O-rings in good condition throughout its life. You are better to have too much than too little. When locating the diffuser over the impeller, be sure to have the two notches facing directly down towards the footplate. Now carefully place the main body over the top, making sure the slot on the body falls in between the two notches on the diffuser. Tighten the four bolts gradually to ensure an even seal. All four 10mm bolts need to be tightened to 6 Nm. 